Everybody loves to discover things, whether it is a long-lost family member or friend, an artifact or object that seemed to have vanished long ago, or perhaps even something inside themselves. Discoveries give people a sense of closure, or in some cases, open up further mystery. All over the world, things are lost and found, but the most exciting discoveries are of things that are never known to have existed. These things seem to crop up in the most unlikely and obscure of places that, unbeknownst to us, are much more important than we may think. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at these three interesting discoveries. Rabbits burrowing on a remote Welsh island uncover a Stone Age treasure trove. Much of what we know about our past, from dinosaurs to Neanderthals, would not have been possible without the skills and expertise of archaeologists. They carry out an immensely complicated and time-consuming job, which often goes resultless for months on end. However, as we are about to explain, such spells of archaeological drought can be ended by the most unexpected of discoveries. In March 2021, a nest of rabbits lent a helping hand to a group of archaeologists scouring the desolate island of Skokholm, a stone's throw away from the southwest coast of Wales. The curious colony of bunnies managed to unearth two artifacts of intrigue. Since 2014, the island's sole inhabitants were two wardens by the name of Giselle Eagle and Richard Brown, who were hired by a wildlife trust. During early March, they chanced upon a smooth oblong stone by the outskirts of their cottage lying in a rabbit hole. Something about it aroused their suspicions, prompting them to take pictures of the object to send to researchers. They did suspect it was man-made. The pair's hunch was deemed correct, and what they had stumbled across was quite something to behold. After carrying out a much more in-depth investigation, Researchers confirmed that this seemingly innocent stone was actually a tool from the late Mesolithic era, approximately six to 9,000 years old. The tool, also known as a beveled pebble, was used by hunter-gatherers for an array of tasks, such as processing seafood and skinning seals, so that their skin could be used to line their boats. That same rabbit hole played host to another discovery of artifacts in the form of sizable fragments of clay. A curator of prehistoric archaeology at the National Museum of Wales recognised the clay fragments and confirmed that they were part of a cremation urn dating back to the early Bronze Age, from around 2000 to 1750 BC. The cluster of archaeological gems centred around one rabbit hole suggests that this was originally the site of an early bronze burial mound which happened to be built over the top of a Stone Age hunter-gatherer site before being overrun by the inquisitive rabbits. This recent discovery has proven quite exciting for archaeologists, given its location. Historically, Skokholm was mainly known for its vibrant seabird life, with tens of thousands of seabirds, such as puffins, ducks and Manx shearwaters, calling the island home. Interestingly, about 50% of the world's Manx shearwaters reside there. So naturally, the island was never known for its archaeological treasures until the recent revelations. Academics now hope that the island will continue to serve up more prehistoric treats, with expeditions to Skokholm being planned to take place as soon as possible. Egyptian Tomb in Sudan, Sai Island Ancient Egypt was a technologically advanced civilization in its day. It was at the forefront of science, mathematics, and literature. It was a civilization that prevailed for 3,000 years before succumbing to the might of the Roman Empire, yet it still managed to hold on to its rich and vibrant culture. At one point, the Egyptian Empire had control over vast swathes of what is now modern-day Egypt, Sudan, and the Middle East. Naturally, countless artifacts and remnants of the civilization have been found throughout its former lands, with each discovery providing further insight into this fascinating society. In 2015, archaeologists discovered an ancient tomb with an array of chambers enough for over a dozen mummified corpses. The tomb, which is believed to be around 3,400 years old, was found on the island of Sai, situated near the famous Nile River in the arid lands of northern Sudan. 
Historically, Sai Island and its surrounding areas formerly known as Nubia were mining hotspots for Egyptians, and as such, they sought to protect the area with extensive fortifications and settlements. The island itself contained one of these settlements along with the gold mine. The nature of the work that the Egyptians did on Sai Island led researchers to believe that the bodies in the tomb were those of the gold workers, as well as those who maintained the settlements. Aside from the bodies, the tomb also had a collection of intriguing and potentially valuable artifacts hidden in its depths. These included gold rings, golden masks that were used to cover the dead, and scarabs, which were lavish amulets that had a design inspired by beetles due to their religious significance in ancient Egyptian culture. Some of these artifacts also contained hieroglyphic inscriptions. The researchers, eager to capitalize on any clues that the markings could give to aid the understanding of this mysterious discovery, deciphered the markings and found that the tomb was erected for a master gold worker by the name of Kamos. Researchers hypothesize that the other bodies in the tomb are likely to be his relatives. However, DNA sampling will be required to confirm this. Archaeologists hope that upon further scrutiny, the tomb and its artifacts will reveal more about the life of gold miners around the area. With that said, it will be no easy feat according to Julia Butka, a professor of Egyptian archaeology, as the method of preservation has complicated the analysis of DNA. As of 2021, Butka and her team have uncovered something even more unexpected. They found that all the bodies in the tombs were part of the local population. Although this may seem understandable, it poses an interesting question. At the time, the local Nubians were ruled by the dominant Egyptians, and combined with the fact that all the features of the tomb were quintessentially Egyptian, it suggests that the dynamic between the ruled and the rulers may not have been so clear-cut as previously thought. Researchers are expected to continue unearthing mysterious revelations into the new decade. New Giant Tortoise Species Discovered on Galapagos Islands The incredible Galapagos Islands are a unique collection of biodiverse habitats for some of the world's most beautiful wildlife. Famous explorer and biologist Charles Darwin explored the Galapagos on the second voyage of the HMS Beagle. It is believed that the observations he made during the trip in the 1830s influenced his theory of evolution. There, Darwin was reportedly enthralled by the potential presence of volcanoes and also the appearance of the mockingbird. Darwin was not the first nor the last explorer to chart the Galapagos. This incredible archipelago has played host to fascinating discoveries all the way up to the present day. One of these discoveries was made as recently as 2015, and it is definitely true to say that it was a memorable one. Giant tortoises in the Galapagos are some of the most intriguing creatures to roam the Earth. Weighing up to 250 kilograms and living, in many cases, for over 100 years, the species gives a fascinating insight into evolution past and present. Santa Cruz Island, one of the islands of the Galapagos, was previously believed to be home to two populations, but only one species of giant tortoise. However, unique DNA research has revealed that there is in fact a second species of giant tortoise on Santa Cruz. Named Chelonoidis don Faustoi, after a retired Galapagos Park ranger, the new species is the 15th to be discovered on the archipelago. An endangered species, the eastern Santa Cruz tortoise, as the new species is also known, has a population of around only 250. Researchers were immediately keen to get to work to protect this uniquely incredible species. We have covered three different continents, climates and histories, from the rabbits to the tortoises with a little bit of ancient Egypt thrown in. These findings prove that there is something that unifies them. History is very much alive. But what do you make of these three interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.